Welcome to the channel guys, today we have a Dell laptop and we are going to repair it. This is the laptop, it's a Inspiron 7520. It has a graphic as well, it's a i7 processor laptop and it came from the customer. So let's repair it and check it out, the problem is it is not turning on. I have repaired many of such model laptops and basically we find that the graphic is dried up. Maybe uh, this laptop is having the same problem. Let's see, let's open the board and uh, start the recording. So guys, here we have opened the board and uh, we have kept the monitor as well. And the DC is ready at 19 volts. Now see what happens if we connect the power cable. I have connected it and now I am pressing the power button. Okay. So the laptop is turning on, the fan is spinning and the ampere also is going to 104. Uh, now the laptop has been turned off. Okay, so one time it is turning on and then after that it goes to off mode and no display, display also is not coming. So what do you think, what could be the problem? If you can guess the problem, let me know on the comment section. As far as I understand, uh, there could be a problem of BIOS or maybe the graphic itself. So before I do graphic, uh, so before I do uh, BIOS, uh, I would like to disable the graphic. Uh, it's an old board and the graphic is there. Okay. So it's easy method to uh, disable the graphic. So first I'll disable the graphic and then if that doesn't solve the problem, then I'll do the BIOS or I'll uh, probe further. As per the graphic uh, conversion data, I think we must uh, remove only coils in this board. Uh, let's have a look and then we will check it out once again. There is one coil here, it may be there is one coil here, maybe this coil or maybe this coil. Let's remove the heat sink first. So here is the graphic chip. Now let me check the data of this 8241P, LA8241P, LA8241P, so as per the data we have to just remove this coil, so we will remove this coil and then we will test it again and after that if the display doesn't come then we will probe further, so first we will remove this one. So we have removed the coil and now let's wait for the board to cool it down. Now the connection to the chip has been disabled. Meanwhile we will check the voltage of the CMOS. CMOS also is faulty. We will replace the CMOS. So here we are replacing the new CMOS. Now we can check it out. Okay, now it is 3.3. .3. So now it is cooled down. Now let's place the heat sink and test it. So we have connected the screen. Now let's turn on and check it out if our problem has been solved or we need to probe further or maybe need to do BIOS or something else. Let's check it out. Okay, the power is on now and the ampere is rising. Fan is spinning. But we will change the RAM and check it out once. As I had a doubt on graphic chip the board was turning off. Now the board is not turning off, but display is not coming. So let's change the RAM and check it out once again. We will clean the RAM slot and the RAM as well. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> okay guys the display has come as you can see so as i guessed the problem was graphic chip it was dried maybe and the second thing was the ram was not properly inserted now the display has come so guys as you saw how fast we repaired this laptop if you know from the beginning itself how to do it definitely you can do it in less less time but that doesn't mean we are not going to charge the customer the same price what we charge to the other customers because it is our experience based on our experience we uh, repair the laptop sometimes it get it done easily and in very less time but sometimes it takes one day two day or maybe more than that okay so guys if you have enjoyed the video please give a like to the video and uh, subscribe my channel for more such videos we are going to bring many videos for repair and to learn how to repair as well thanks for watching have a nice day